Welcome back to its play, Yumi Neko, When They Cry. In the last part, they found the bodies of Rudolph, Kiryu, and Hideyoshi. That were cried, George cried, Eva died. A lot of people cried, pretty much. The guest, the guest house lobby was wrapped in silence. The string of tension which bound Krauss, Natsui, and Eva had already loosened. They were completely tired, and their consciences were beginning to waver. And once in a while, they would stand up and walk around pointlessly, as they would find their drowsiness. Are you alright, eva -san? May I please do take it any rest? I told you I'm fine! Three of us are now the only adults! There's no time to rest! No matter what the cost, we have this place until the end! Huh. <sighs> <sighs> Took a brave line, but she couldn't hide her rough breathing. She had the fever, which had calmed with medicine for a while, had returned. Very out that Eva's health was not good. Take it easy. At the least, close your eyes. Because you, because if you have to wake, we have to wake you. We definitely will. I'm telling you that I'm fine. Leave me alone. It seemed she had already been obstinate. Cross not, not so you realized that if they talked to her anymore when. When she was like this, it wouldn't read your ears. So without saying anything more, they decided to let her be. So even right now, even arguing like that became a burden. Probably be better if she had just lit, lit, she had just there with her mouth shut. Actually, even actually been beaten down by dryness. I have actually talked back with a timber because she was trying to encourage her and throw her off her sleepiness. The call would point at 6 in the afternoon very soon. Because she had been snacking over and over to fill it with drowsiness, she didn't feel hungry. But instead, her lack of sleep made it feel like it was 6 in the morning, not the afternoon. Even if they came, even if they, even if they were supposed to come at the boat, even if they supposed, even if they supposed that the boat came at approximately nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow, there were still more than twelve full hours to go. There was an only long stretch of time. Long, painful, hot. Even the sound of the clock torn my body now. Not like this when that person puts his hand in my forehead. The fever fades at once. The person no longer exists. As Eva's mind grew foggy. She once again gripped by the deep sadness. She already cried herself dry. Even so, sad from losing her beloved husband, not been exhausted. I made a mistake. Why? From the start, the new witch had been the same being as Eva. If you talked to her, she would always respond. I know I gave the mission the fail we had. That should have been enough. But then, as soon as I saw that mountain go, my grief grew. I was struck with desire to have the mountain guard all to myself. That's nothing to be embarrassed about. After all, John, that's all right that you should be in family head. How'd you go being a bit of a thing one else? I was gripped by a temptation. Just why you were born. Why you were a younger virgin of me. At the same time, you're also my self-centered evil heart. Put you're strong because the mountain of gold and became my foolish greed. The shell of an egg which is then my heart split and you were born to this world. From your day you were born. In that case, when I killed Rosa and Maria, and then Rudolph Kyrie and Hideo, she dealt your responsibility too. Why'd you kill my husband too? Why? Why? I didn't want to kill Hideyoshi. You're so annoying persistent. And that's all no your fault. She will always treating the husband like that. Told you could not understand how good that person was. Dear. Come on. Our dream was made filled with magic, right? We thought rid of the epitaph. Then we found the gold and got the head's ring. Oh, I'd wait, where is the head ring? She, she's not even wearing it. Well, more because you want. Since I was in all my dreams, we need to watch for life that person and trust each other next in life. There's still many dreams that tell me to me as a wife, as a, as a, as a wife, as a mother, and yet, and yet. That's, those are just extra dreams you gained after going an adult. They aren't my dreams. Because you are a child. As long as it's good for you, you're happy. That's right, everything is my fault. Back then, why ever just, why ever just doing what brother told me to? Good enough that all silly that I found the gold. It's all because I'm ugly. My evil heart was probably why I wouldn't have other gold myself. Called you the hatch. Looks like you really hate me. You know both of us are usually me Eva. That isn't any true anymore. And it was who you said it. I am usually me Eva. And you are the golden witch Beatrice. Just disappear. Which is not illusion. Which is not only exists in fairy tales. And you disappear. Never appear in front of me again. Yeah, you're right. I understand. I'll disappear from from in front of you. And I'm not used to me either. Now when I'm the going with Beatrice, I can play all I want. I don't even know you. Why don't you why don't you just give up and die? Alright, childlike tantrum. The witch who had been another Eva hit herself. Only well, Eva was up behind the darkness. And she questioned and she questioned herself. Me? I killed them? 
Did I kill that person? Did I kill him? She no longer answers that question herself. Oh, Jesus! She had a half asleep. She got some saliva caught in her windpipe and it was dozing off. Eva suddenly started coughing. You are right, Eva. Please not sleep. Some water. Y yes! I'm alright, okay. <coughs> I'm just choked a bit. Eva pushed away not Sui's hand. She tried to her back and slowly rose to her feet. I'm going to wash my face. Sorry, I fell asleep. When I get back, I'll make some more coffee. Extra salt and I don't do it dry until tomorrow morning. Mm, please, because the coffee you make fits my taste more than that coffee Gota makes. You're flattering me. I'm pleased. <coughs> I'll be back soon. Eva exited the lobby, hanging for the lavatory. Lavatory? Ooh. Grandma watched her, watched her flail back. So you do something I can have Eva sign, even though you don't, even though you've all been so at odds with her. Fundamentally, isn't that what an older brother should do? Yeah. I believe that is correct. Not just Eva. Rudolph and Rosa, too. They've acting like an older brother to them. I've, I've, on, I've only spoken arrogantly and bullied them. My own way. I was frantic in my desire to be like father. But I could never match up. I always vented my feelings on them. However, there is no excuse. I probably even gave Eve a scar so deep that I would not be healed. I regret it. But if I pawned after all this time, those would not those wounds would not heal. If you're not on that motion, not just for now, I'm just not feeling to be transmitted to your siblings. By now my only swimming left is Eva. If all of the family you and Joseph were born to a non nutrient family, you might have had a more more normal and more fun sibling relationship. You mustn't say that. Evil will probably continue to hate me for her whole life. She has a right to. I tend to resign myself to that and accept it. Dear. Eva, I am sorry. Of course, you don't have to forgive me. Of course I won't forgive you. What are you talking about after all this time? You don't like it. Why don't you just go and die right now? Do it, Siesta sisters. Forty-five, fairy mission received. Wait, fairy acquisition, weather error correction. Heading the four ten. Four ten data received, fairy mission confirmed. Me he 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 he, firing. There, since the release, the raid magic bowstring, a beautiful tail trailed the gold arrow and it drew a beautiful curve as it flew. It was just like a gold snake. It was skillfully avoided the groves of trees and flew toward the front door of the guest house. Then it flew into the keyhole of the door and snuck in the, in the guest house without any problem at all. The gold snake raced down the hallway smoothly, yet as fast as an arrow. Right before, right before it was the door to the lobby. When flew in the keyhole, crafting that we were already. For instance, Crossfire saw a gold color sparkle in the keyhole in the door. However, at the same time, he strained his eyes to see what it was. That sparkle bent like a whip and attacked, wrapping himself around Krause's neck. Ah, uh, uh, oh, good neighbor. Why must I die? Just looking at it, the gold snake looked very supple. However, it was as though a wire had tightened around Krause's neck. And while that snake croaked Krause, they seen even more, not so tight around Tsui's neck. I changed the screen, their eyes bored as they, as they went into convulsion and they collapsed. 45 hit until confirmed. Challenge curve formation. Ca capture point revision. Data link to 410. 410 data received. Interesting corpse towing. We got both of them. Nee hee hee. Only began to drag not cross not Tsui's body's back. They swooped through the door of the corridor, dragging their by gradually increasing speed. And rapidly pulled them outside the guest house. So the lobby was still as though nothing had happened. As though Kraus and Natsui had not been there since the beginning. Only sound of the wind and the rain remained, as though as though fleeing ignorance and pretending that they were the only ones there. Sorry, I'm fine now. Now I'll go make some coffee. He returned from the lavatory, but no one was in the lobby. Even though they had surprisingly been that self until the moment she, she had choked and gone to the lavatory, they had gone. That had been an illusion from the beginning. How careless. Where did those two go off together? Like she pretended to be in a detective novel, you put her hand on the sofa. But her warmth was meant that they had been seen together until a short while ago. 
They had gone to do rounds or something. For time being, Eva sat down waiting for their return. Bijo and George could be seen in the parlor of the mansion. George knew he understands by his old praying. Face was serious, and there was even swelling on his forehead. Her beetle was the same. No she had her name over, most of her precious power had been lost. Of course, she still had more than enough power to be called a witch, but compared to the past, it was a very faint thing. Fine. Don't talk to her. Don't touch her with your hand. Conjure the voice of your heart and see with your hand of the heart. Only your strong feeling can make my magic reach hands lost soul. Yeah. George kept praying earnestly and silently. He kept frantically yelling inside, her, inside his heart, trying to, trying to call back the soul of the person he loved. He saw he envisioned his soul weaving his body and searching for her as she, as she wandered through hell. He turned that strong force of magical power, supplement her own magic. It was magic that in the past she should have performed easily without anyone's help. But now, she didn't want someone's help, she wouldn't be able to finish the champ, much less succeed. I have forgotten already after 700 years. Was magic? Was resurrection? How difficult as a, of a magic? He wore a strange pressure from Beato's face and George's. It slipped her mind, but originally the magic revival of life was ultimate hidden art. It was a previous magical power that could be used over and over a snap of a finger that was abnormal. Therefore, the heavy burn to her body and mind was fundamentally extremely fitting. However, this person's power. You know he doesn't know magic, it doesn't mean laughed at. I see, so he truly is Kenzo's grandchild. Tom Powell appearing from George was already enough to activate the magical power. However, a Beato file would do the blood of the mission Kenzo. However, that was probably wrong. She had a feeling that Batwar taught her that. If he had been born from the power of George's sadness at the death of the person he loved, and way had tried his hardest throughout his life, warm time spent together with Shane, and decided to dream that he swore to protect in the future. Are humans able to live in life seriously during, during, during one single life? Of course they could. To her, a life doesn't mean anything more than the difference between the top and bottom of a, a follow piece. If life was in death, then she brought all it, she brought all it do with the flip it over and make it white. However, just like a broken vase, the humans in a world without magic, where they cannot reach their original form, is very, very natural in the better life and soul. Is Ella Dan who can do what she wants, even life and death, fear to limit humanity can suppress the amount of death? I wish acknowledged it. He was able to hold a magical power that could not reside in witches who, who didn't understand the value of life. Why does a thing called the English magic even exist? You know I call myself the English witch. Did I forget what the ma English magic means for 1,000 years? Who drew expression again? His certain earnestness with a lightning bolt. Right now, even if George's body was burned or smashed by a waterfall, he'd probably continue the praise beloved to do at minding it, not noticing it. First time in forever, she showed respect for that power. For an instant, all magical resistance was lost, and the enormous power of George's feelings turned the magical power in its perfect form. The base was very beautiful, rich with its history and value. Even as young as I was, I still forced to take a deep breath when I was in this beauty. Just that way we want to touch it. But the vase easily fell and smashed into pieces. Like it was a bubble that had popped. It felt as though that time at best a form was just an illusion. Whatever that fragile that easily lost. The only that my foolish curiosity had caused something that couldn't be taken back. But how much I regretted it, no matter how much I apologized, the patch vase one return back to its original form. The lost life will not return to the normal no matter what happens. I find out even though my careless action had been fought with, that I still don't know why that will never be revived again. Then I peed the lost life and cried. I was frightened of myself, who had become lost, and, and cried even more. I'm sure grandfather also cried a loss of his precious vase. I'm sure not all the people who my grandfather saw him cried like that. But the this loss of a single wife, the whole world will be filled with so much sadness. I cried more of a horrible that would be. Beatrice appeared and spoke. Damn yeah, lady. Let's well, derive the vagal magic. It would take all the power making what happened. The vagal magic spirit should be how to win your burnt power. Turn to original foam. Come away to call your eyes and say the chant with me. Come try the light and try to remember. What form did you have? Show you a very, very beautiful form. Please show you that form one more time.
The word of the power forcibly knocked on the door of the Hades. Pre-Mag forcibly knocked on the door of the Hades in some way. However, that was horribly violent. It earned the displeasure of peaceful sleeping dead. But this time it was different. It was very forceful, but it was very gentle and loving. Dead near the door opened their eyes. He called out to the other dead that would voice calling for someone to come back. The of that voice calling from the outside touched hearts of the dead. Trying to respond as, as quickly as possible, they searched for Chan's lost soul. And then, they found it. They found the cask in which Chan was peacefully sleeping. The tree was Chan's soul, so even no end of the dead. Had the castle of colored rose flowers frozen in the frost, she was sleeping in peace. The dead silently lifted that casket up. On a glance, it looked like a funeral march had been completed. It completed the opposite meaning. It was solemn but filled with joy. The long forgotten dead were, were, to, were made to remember that they were loved after their deaths. They were given a warm sense of peace. Then, as though guided by a warm light from the heavens, Shan's body lifted from out of the casket. The dead watched her go. They squinted at her warm light. Giving their respect to the unknown member of the living, who had continued to hold on to his love for his person after death. Shane by who sucked from the light into the heaven and began to disappear. In a gently -like blind of the land of the dead, the faint flickering gold butterflies could be seen. Behind them a gentle star in the night sky, which has been long forgotten. Which remember, remember being told that he must not say anything, and he hurriedly covered his mouth. However, felt like his heart was trying to jump into his throat. Could he have been Chant? He had seen Chant's eye was shake lightly. And his eyelids slowly open. Chant's eye were there, but they were still wrapped in the fog of the land of the dead. Heard the human worlds. No, the lover's warmth which had caught her soul and back going to that fog. And her eyes gradually regained that sparkle. And her eyes moved and recognized George. George! Son! As the lips spoke weakly, Shan definitely said that. Words were very faint. So much that it normally wasn't going to reach his ears. However, George clearly heard them. He had hurt the person of his thoughts, his fiancée, the one he loved, the one he loved most who had been dead. He called his name once again. Shannon. Oh, Shannon. Do you know who I am? George. Sir. Is this a dream? No. This isn't a dream. Come on, look, even if I pinch, you don't wake up. And George said that he softly pinched Shannon's cheek. It was how George always spawned in the past. When George been, when Shannon had been surprised by someone had asked if she was dreaming, she felt the warmth of George's finger on her cheek. And when George realized that warmth from a living person and returned to his beloved person's cheek, they both cried. What worse should a pair of lovers separated by death celebrate when they are reunited? What if the human world are not enough to celebrate that? In short, they had no need for one of this world. George simply talked to Shannon, who was sitting up without talking. Shannon's strength was still feeble, and putting her arms around George's back took all she had. But George hugged her tightly to make to make up for that. To stop, to stop each other from going going one more place the other hands it couldn't reach, they hugged each other very, very tightly, and yet very gently. Shannon's finger, which had curled around George's back, on a ring finger, gave it a ring George had given her definitely shone. That strong sparkle definitely wasn't the only sparkle of diamond. Definitely wasn't a magical power that only two lovers could possibly feel. Kind of strong light existed that they'd probably be able to find her cat in the land of the dead. Peter understood. That ring, no. The feeling of the pair, and biting that ring was a, mir was a miracle made real. In that moment, George definitely used magic. Peter had done nothing more than help him along. That magic had the power. That magic had a magical person that could only resign those who knew the importance of life and trying the hardest. It was a power of a miracle which the English witch could not know. And that only limited power could rise to. But now she had no choice but to accept it. To accept that true magic, true magical power exists in a place farthest away from who she called herself a great witch. Peter Sama! She brought me back to life. Thank you, Beatrice. No, I did not do anything. That thing revived Shan with your magical power. It was your magic. The human man of blood, which seen a miracle, definitely saw you through. Your son did for me? Hmm. He had incredible magical power. So, I could, so much I could not reach up to his feet. So I still have not left the level of apprentice. Now I finally know my place. Pito staggered backwards. Her physical strength was clearly exhausted. 
She had humbly said that with George Powell gone, they arrived Shannon, which Beato had used all her magical power and physical strength. And reflecting upon how difficult it was to survive a single life, when she ran able to play with how she accepted. The couple kept on embracing each other tightly. By doing that, the feelings couldn't be communicated with a billion words, were communicated. Thank you, Beatrice. We are in your debt. Thank you very much, Mita Sama. I definitely don't forgive it. Forget if you ever let me mail with George again. Stop that! Stop that! Being sank by the paraglove was far too embarrassing one who has been feared as a extreme heretic. Don't worry about me. Celebrate your reunion together as much as you can. Beatrice was leaning over back against the wall, slipped down against the wall on her back and sat. My century had been since she had and she had grown this tired of using magic. I probably haven't been this tired since the time I first seen magic. Did the teacher praise me that time? Oh, but, don't, but didn't I kill that teacher who praised me myself? Don't be naive, Beatrice. In the end, killing somebody isn't like that, right? Finally. It seems you've remembered how to use magic. My feels parked and suffocating. I can't even remember. More probably, I didn't kill you. You shouldn't be appearing. You don't want me to now. That's why I'm here like this. Over. I'm not come just pat your head. Did you come to stand how pathetic I am? And after all this time, if I had my head patted by a retired teacher, the other witch will laugh at me. That's right. Not only are you a fool adult, but you're both about devil and death. If I know we weren't you mad about embarrassing, you can't tell anybody. That's right, keep it a secret, teacher. You gave the couple hugging each other with a sense of pleasant. Can they die already? I mean, Jesus Christ. What if it is? No match. The first I received, five members included. No type selecting loading. Four ten firing. Nee hee hee. Ghost snake arrow would fall by the siestas. Lead its way for the bushes of the rose garden. Lead its way for the hedge. And climb the stone steps toward the mansion entrance. Aim for the keyhole. Move through the corridors and flew into the keyhole and door to the parlor. Happened in an instant. What would difficult be to was Queen Warnoff knows it beforehand? Before Beatrice's eyes, the gold snake that flew into the keyhole. Drawn two lovers. And pierced two hearts in the blink of an eye. Furthermore, his gold snake faithfully pierced the whole enchanted chest once more. Hearts were pierced with the gold snake. No, the gold swing Fred used by a new brutal witch's furniture. In an instant, so unfamed for the effort of had taken her by Shannon. In front of Beato's shocked eyes, two flew over and laying on the floor. J George! Shannon! Oh, come on, I just met her! Oh, god dang it. Ah, uh, screw what I'm saying, I'm really pissed off. I mean, I just met her and then I get killed. George Van laughed at singing Beato and died side by side with the one he loved. No thing which sewed the two in place, smelling like a large cyclone, revolving around the inside of the parlor. He was for the further prey in that room. The tip of the snake met Beato's gaze. And instant, Beato prepared to die. At time, Virgil was in front of her, the finger of both her hands drawing a mark. And instant, gold curved leaf buried the inside of the parlor. It was like a blizzard of gold. Beato, escape while you can! Don't let Gabe run, she has to go bow! 410 target lost, knee and magical chaff! 45 understood! Enemy search modification, pursuit! Enemy search, burn on suit method! Target goal required! Data link to 410! We're team receive. We can't freaking find her because she's fast. Gun, gum, 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 gum. Impact. Pray that your going bow ain't at pray to not escape. It cannot be blocked. A magical barrier could undream blocking it without multi layered. The waypoint during the instance of confusion called Virgil is such a magical Beato's only chance to escape. Only chance to make the sisters confused with Virgil for Beato. Virgil spread her arms wide, blocking the way it. Her blow aside, but the gold snake pierced straight through her heart. The snake would have been stuck for the key open, shot for Jordan Shannon, and taken shot through Virgil in an instant. Hilly, Hilly failed to notice that Beato escaped. As soon as Virgil saw that Beato gone away, she expired. Twang looked her body and gold like dust surfing the wind, her form was erased. She completely erased all traits of her magical power. She became golden butterflies and passed through the wall, escaping the wind and ran outside. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it! You bitch! You bitch! 
I have a girl from the bottom of her heart. Why? Because she had been attacked by a new witch? Probably not. We all know why she's feeling regret. Because she just brought people back to life, and then they, you know, they freaking died. Put on with all her magical power to reunite them. You know, the other was all been a miracle. In short time before that gift had been stolen, you need to trim that barbarous culture which had ended it too fast. All the true form of acting she had committed until that point. She just strongly began to hate the new witch. She looked at the previous self with disgust. Now she had to escape. She was targeting next, she would probably lose her life. Why are you funny that the chess player descended like a god and been attacked by the pieces? Friends are confirmed, target scattered. From that down, we crushed the pieces. Pieces are summer. Our panel of dead male is going to get bigger once again. Nee hee hee. What was that about loving couples? You get to enjoy tearing apart too. We got you never tearing apart again, right? No! Oh, no, I feel great about getting to say goodbye to that damn fussy granny. One of you have any complaints, right? I don't know. Well, it's Beatrice Summer. I put an interview with the Terry Mother, which is easy. I'll take a ride down the bottom. I want to go away. Yaw! I didn't leave a corpse behind. I find me all told that granny death over and over again endlessly. Yaw! Suddenly it's night time, okie dokie. Now it's not night time, okie dokie. George did! He didn't show up when he didn't go down! When you, when you say, what time was that again? I think it was probably around 4 or 5. Very least, it was less than an hour ago. We got sleepy and probably dozed off after that. I think it's probably like Jessica says, about 1 or 2 hours ago. I'm not sure if I'm trying back that time. Go to what I wanted more coffee. It's really hard to believe that happened. Apparently, when Aunt Eva had left for a second to wash her hands, Kronos of Jisan and Aunt Nasui had disappeared. There's no way that he, they were hiding somewhere. Of course, doors that went up and were duly checked, and all were locked from the inside. Now, one of them was broken. The one just the first floor, second floor was the same. Again, all the doors and windows possess the lock, which had been designed so that they wouldn't be set from the outside. In other words, there was no way that Kronos of Jisan and Aunt Nasui had gone outside, and yet, they couldn't be found. Furthermore, they weren't the only one who had disappeared. Even George Anakin did. George Anakin had been saying, had been left saying he was going to get more coffee. He got upstairs more than an hour earlier. We were under the impression that he was having a conversation with Eva and the rest. Wait, Eva, who had been along the whole time so that no one came down. So all the doors and windows were locked from the, from the inside. It was thinking they had gone outside. However, for a human to evaporate from his buried guest house would become a perfect closed room. Page like this, we imagined that this was, this was because they were we couldn't imagine that this was because they were playing hide and seek and trying to scare us with a prank. It's probably appropriate to think that they've been confident in this crime. When Eva had learned that her own son was missing, she had gone half insane, running the room and yelling his name loudly. Let's go, so only lost both her pants to chase after her. Quite the George, George, and Mom, Dad had continued to echo throughout the guest house for some time. I think George is talking about wanting to see George Chan's dead face. We were told Maddie to get snuck out of the guest house and gone to the mansion. However, I don't know about Cross with Jishan and Asui. They know that I can go to the mansion to search for him? I haven't told you Eva? At this rate, it's only a matter of time before we start talking about leaving the guests out to search for them. That time comes, I'll agree. The chance is on in the town to get us have safe. We should have a big happy family with 12 people in stage stay shut until this is morning. And yeah, not only four people here. In other words, it means that, it means that being there is not safe. However, to pour that, there was something that we must not forget. There are the fact that all the doors and windows were locked from the inside. This is a closed room. How the hide himself away from this place? We just tried thoroughly. However, we couldn't find any trace of someone hiding. Freedom them had most certainly been taken outside the guest house. I wonder how they did it. You don't think there was someone like a hidden door? A hidden door? Through the window where conjunction so I had punched for them to be locked from the outside. Even your friends got me punched with shade with how instructed. In that case, me probably saying that they left somewhere out of the door or window. You're right. That doesn't make logical sense. Let me try that there are no hidden door exist. However, before we leaving out of confusion, I expect a much simpler possibility. And what would that be? Time Bowerman been opening windows, opening each other and checking outside, repeating that for each window. Hmm. This window sure is quiet. I see. Unlike other windows, the building was chugged so that the wind doesn't blow into this one. 
Hear it that way. If you're that no one to rank comes in, even though there's no one that sad. Dr. Nanjo. Open the window just now. Did you hear a sound? Huh? No, I did not know she. I believe it was well oiled. In other words, it is, po it is possible to slink through a window in the hall when no one is looking. Furthermore, the wind doesn't blow in through this window, so the air pressure wouldn't cause the curtains or door to make a sound. And be quiet. That way, Foreman looked at the ground below. Looking for some sign that Tori jumped down. And they're going to see any mark line that on the grass in the middle of the pouring rain. There might be a window like this on the first floor. It's possible to go without anyone noticing. Remember, now I own the door, but the window is true on a lock. It should you now quill, correct? It's fine to go out, but code name is impractical. They need to be closed, right? It looks like this. Why do he look? He looks evil. He's like, heh heh heh. I killed him. Heh. He did not quill. I closed the window and locked it, as though it was perfectly obvious. But Balshan, you aren't saying. Someone inside locked in in the end. This closed room is easy as pie. But that means, that means, oh no, that means. Not your friend shook his head several times. And Bauer said, hit him as a fact of finding him to imagine. Where are we, where are they getting these sprites from? Because I have all Bauer sprites and I don't see this. Maybe I do. It's a trick I thought of, right? Well, with this trick, only a very limited number of people can be suspected. He was saying for Nando, but after looking at Jessica, who had been with him the whole time, well, you know, I don't even could have done it. And I do anything to shout. Yeah, I can swear. In that case, it comes a battle between Aunt Eva and Dr. Nando for an alibi. We're gonna suspect both of you, and can find the two of you separately. Say it the other way around, the more survivors there are, the more effective this trick might be. The number has shrunk so much, it isn't effective at all. No, to the contrary, there'll be a chance of having your neck strangled. Shimmer will expect to make it look like the culprit is outside, and instantly leave a door unlocked or break a window. If this appearance theater had been taken midday today, I'd probably not I'd probably announce this series with full confidence. However, at this stage I'm not confident at all. What's going on here? What in the world does it mean? This closed room. You don't think uh, Huh? What is it, Dr. Nanjo? Even just a thought, please say it. Because Nanjo looked like he was trying to swallow his own words, even though it seemed like he had thought something, I urged him on. I got out a few several times saying that it was a foolish idea, finally said it out loud. No, uh, you don't think this actor might be the work of a witch? R ridiculous! There's no way witches exist. Can I make our case to us? Because she's doing something that humans cannot do. She might be trying to make us accept her as a witch. Oh my lord, I'm answering that. I mean, just appearing from the cold room and getting tired to get y'all. Food's like kind of mission from a witch. I'm not saying it be. Sure, you not mean anything. Oh, I am frightened. Now, beast. I don't know how shook his fear. It looked like he was trying to create the fear in the thought that he kept sinking on one to the other. We went down the stairs, and even Jessica were enraged. They went persistent and desire to leave this place and serve for their infected families. It was our I naturally hid those who no longer could see their family. And even told Agnondo and me to stay here, but I shook my head and started walking. I've been shoving in that side for a long time already. I've started wanting to breathe some outside air. Jeffrey Gung, let's go quickly. No, I'm gonna keep myself shut in a place like this. You know what George just say? He said, Vamanos, amigos, let's vamanos. Go and find mom down to George Lisa quickly. What had written in Jessica's head? Who does it all for asthma? Sucks your ass, Mar. It wasn't second to say. Anyway, we're searching outside. What about you, Dr. Nanjo? Will you watch this place by yourself? No, 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 no. Well, I'm enjoying you. Dabbies. Rather than hoing on to this house with security, which no one means guaranteed. Better to be in danger that was a group of four people. And he was holding a gun. We separated from her. From her, it was almost like asking to be, be made to the next victim. In the way, four decided to leave the guest house. It should have been safe to bury ourselves. We did that. And then lost eight people. Almost though it was holding room so that the sacrifice could, sacrifice could be killed one after another. Through the chain, I locked the front doors and opened it. It was already pitch black. While there were some lights outside, it was holding Jim the pathway. And enough power to shine to the darkness that suspicious person might be behind in. I'm going! If you fall behind, you're on your own, okay? Point your gun, any of a dash out without an umbrella. Just go follow her. After waiting at each other, Dr. Nanjo and I chased after them. Ooh, what in the world is happening to this mansion on this island? I'm sub in the guest house with the rest of the cousins since yesterday. So, did I not know anything about what's going on outside? This is what's happening I don't know about. Outside is ruining the mansion on this island. Everything is happening. Everything is proceeding. Everything is even without my knowing it. 
Two on my heart. Already been given up. Most likely, not one of us will see tomorrow morning. When seagulls cry, nobody will be left alive. 